Hi, I'm here. And I got my nerd glasses on. This is going to be my thing, I guess. I don't know. I need glasses to see. Okay, I'm blind. So, quick tips. This is the first one. And it's a real quick one. And I've been playing around with it for a while. But it's in the new phone. So, yep, I got the, the new Hawaii or whatever you call it. Pro, it's amazing. Um, I can't find a cheap case for it yet, you know. It's on Amazon, but it's coming. We'll review that later. So I, I really bought an iPhone 8 case, and I, I cut out the holes, and then I you know, made it fit. Why not? That's my way of making things work. But what I really find important as a quick thing is that you can get apps for everything, right? So the app that I want to talk about today is called Still Cards. And what it does is that it holds all your reward cards. It's not one of those wallets that holds your debit where you can just like, I had that on my old one on the S7 and that uses the NFC. I have to look over there to see what it means. Okay. Near field communication. Um, this one doesn't have that and it's okay. Cause I get, I, th I thought it was cool, but it turned out that it was more of a pain in the butt than anything else. It, it was just easier to take your card out. Um, usually the merchants, you know, if they don't have the newest up to date debit machines, the tap part through the phone doesn't always work. And you also have to like validate it somehow, either with the pin number or with your thumbprint or something. So it's just easier to take your own card out and tap it. And we'll talk about all that later on because I'm sure everybody's thinking security stuff. Yeah, there is. Um, that'll be later. But again, these are quick videos about quick tips. So what I like about Snow Cards is it's still a quick little app and it holds your reward cards, just your reward cards. So my reward cards are in there. I told them too fast. So, and they have a whole list of the ones that you can pick from, like every reward card that exists you can pick from. And it's super easy to set up. You, you just go through the list and then you click on them plus. There's a list. You pick which one you have. And then you literally take a picture. You take a picture of your card with, with, the, with the phone, uh, with the barcode, and then, you know, it'll put the name in and links everything up. So that's great, you know? So you have less cards to carry around in your purse if you're the type of person that doesn't like to have a purse or you just want to throw a thing in your back pocket or whatnot. Great. However, the, only, the other cool thing with this is that it has an option for other card that isn't necessarily, you know, on the list. Now what you can use that for is to, and what I've done, I have my Medicare in there as well as my library card. Because yes, I'm a nerd. Glasses? I'm a nerd. I go to the library. Um, I keep them in there as well. So they have the barcode. They have all the information. Will they be good enough, you know, to go to the hospital as a Medicare card? I don't know. However, there's a lot of things now, mostly like mental health, where I go, that you have to give your Medicare number every time you go. And I hate bringing all that stuff with me. So, I don't have to anymore. It's in my phone. Yeah, it, it turns on, like, like my pineapple. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, it turns, you know. So, yeah. I have my Medicare number now. If anybody asks for it, unless they have to scan the actual card, um, it's there. And you can have other kind of important cards. So if you have children, you can keep all your children's cards and whatnot in there in case you just need to number for reference about everything. Um, that's great. There's also another app where you can store all your business cards. However, don't download that app because every single Android has that function in it already. All right, so got my phone oh look it recognized my face Isn't that great um so when you go to your contacts so i'm gonna open up my contacts and favorites i don't know i don't want to make anybody yeah. we'll pull up my sister like i said every android has the business card app now the old ones that i used to work the platform i was on before uh, I was on Samsung. I had a S6 and then an S7. Life happened. I needed to get my own phone. I have. Turned out that I got this funky. I love this. It, uh, it's a whole other thing. 
it's a mid phone. I'll get into that why Huawei is like rivaling iPhone good. However, in this particular one, in the Hawaii one, there is a part on top for groups where it's business cards. So you can put all your business cards in your contact section. You don't need to download an extra app for that. It's built in. But I do remember that if you're having, uh, I do remember if you're working with a Samsung, in their contact section, there's actually a part where, you know, you put their name, their number, their organization if you want to. There's a part where you can actually add their business card in their contact. So no need for any extra apps for business cards. They're built into your contacts. So that'll free some memory up because apps themselves take a little bit of memory. But just adding a little picture of a business card doesn't take as much. It's free some stuff up. Because trust me, the pictures and the videos of your kids are way more important for your memory than business cards, for sure. So that is my tip of the day. On your phone, try to use as much as you can. This thing will organize your life. We're gonna get to more tips about that later. But for now, you can keep all your cards in there that have your reward cards and then other important cards that you might need information from that, you know, they're not like necessary, necessary. You can have them in there so you can leave the wallet at home, not have to worry if you're going to the beach or the pool or the park that someone's going to steal it because it's all in your phone. Thank you. Love y'all.